Hello YouTube, uh, Model Car Guy here, and today we are going to build a 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS with a 454 under the hood, and the hood is a Kyle induction hood. So let's get into the parts. We got our body. We got some pieces to remove. Here's our interior tub. Here's our frame. We got motor parts, a battery, shocks, and we got a radiator. We got a radiator hose part to the back of the seats and a cow induction hood. We got our seats and console. We got our back seat and our dash. We got us an intake that fell off the tree. We got, I think my first time getting on a uh, warped tree, we got more motor parts like air cleaner, we got valve covers, a fan, uh, and other parts, carburetor. We got our steering wheel, firewall, exhaust, slash uh, suspension. Got our manifolds and tire parts and frame parts. Got our kind of big chrome tree. Got these rims. And we got these rims. And we got mirrors, shifter. We got our grill, our bumper, and valve covers and an alternator. But I'm going to go with these rims. Got a single piece windshield with headlights. Got our Goodyear tires, one metal axle, and tail lights. So our decals with Michigan license or Texas license, but I'm gonna go with Michigan. And I think I want to attempt to put the turbo jet with the 454 thing on the air cleaner. I'm gonna attempt to put that on. And we got our directions that we don't care about. So stay tuned for the paints I'll be using and then our first build update. So stay tuned. All right, here's the paint and the stuff we'll be using. Uh, gloss black for the frame and interior because I don't have a matter or a mat because I ran out. So that's what we'll have to go with. And then I got an orange for the motor and then a metallic blue for the body. And then we got our chrome Sharpie. Hobby knife, razor blade knife, my trusty pliers, our glue, and cement for the windshield and back glass. So stay tuned for the first build update. Subscribe. Okay, here's our first build update. Got the interior done. Almost got the back seat in, got the seat in with the console, got the shifter in, got the backs on, got the dash done. Got the battery done. Of course got the hood painted and underneath we'll paint it black. Then we gotta get the do the same thing to the body. Got the motor together. Then got the frame done. And then of course got the tires and and the black washer grill and other stuff. So stay tuned for the second build up thing. Okay. Build update number two and the final one. 
Got the grill put in. All that. Got the body work. Got the frame in. Motor in. Rear wall. Got the windshield in. Interior in. Did a bunch of chrome work on the body. Just, just got to put the tires on, which I already got together here. Got to get the tail lights into the bumper. You got to put the axle on, get the, put the hood on, and then apply the decals, and I'm done. So, and I might show a picture of before decals or something like that, or maybe a quick sm small video. But stay tuned for the complete car. Okay, here it is before decals for the front. And then here it is, decals for the back. Now for the car with the decals on. Alright, here's the car. Completely finished. Looks very nice. Got the bumper with the license plate. Taillights, exhaust, tips on. There's up underneath the car. Now let's look what's up in the hood. Got the four fifty four motor. Now it says 454 turbo jet 450 HP, which HP, if you do not know what that means, it means horsepower. So, hopefully you enjoyed this build. And like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to do more builds like this comment below on what car should do next and maybe a truck I only got one more truck left to do and sadly I only got one more Chevy to do and it's a 67 Chevelle it's a drag car so please share this and watch my other videos and help me with views so Stay tuned for the next build.